Hey guys, I hope you're having a great Tuesday. It's time for us to do some math. And we talked yesterday about how we were gonna start learning about our three-dimensional shapes. And these really aren't new to us because one of our favorite songs in kindergarten is the 3D shape song. Do y'all remember that song? And today we're gonna to be talking about two of those three-dimensional shapes. We're gonna be talking about the sphere and the cube. And those are the two shapes we're gonna talk about today. And I have our sphere right here. This one's made out of wood. And I want you to think about somewhere in your house, you might have something that is the shape of a sphere. It's not flat. Have a flat circle here. It's not flat. I want you to look for not a flat circle, but a round sphere. Can you go find something that has that shape? And I'm going to show you something that I found. I found Tank's ball. His ball is a sphere. It's round like a circle, but it's 3D. It's not flat. Now I'm going to, let's see, what is that shape? We see a square on its side, but it's not flat. It's a three-dimensional shape, so it's called a sphere. And here's our wooden sphere. When we look at all of its sides, they are all a perfect square. All of its sides are a square. Can you look around your house and see if you see anything that is a cube? Looks like a box. I brought something. This is a box that Ella has a little prism light in, but the box is a cube. It's a square on all the sides. All right. If you found something in your house, I want you to draw what you found right here. Do you remember I found Tank's tennis ball? So I'm gonna draw Tank's tennis ball. It has a line on it, doesn't it? I wonder what you found that was a sphere. And then for my cube, I found Ella's little crystal box. You don't have to draw your cube perfect. Just try the best you can. Maybe you found something different from me. All right, we're gonna flip our page. We're gonna do this page together and then you do the next page on your own. So right here in this yellow box, it says sphere. So we're gonna look for all the spheres that we see. Remember sphere is round like a ball. So let's circle that sphere. That looks like a golf ball. Has anybody been playing golf? All right, and we can circle this one up top too because we know that's a sphere. All right, right here in this yellow box, it says cube. So we're gonna look for all the cubes that we see. They've circled this dice for us. Have you ever seen a dice that has numbers on it like that? There's the other cube. All right, number three. What is this shape? Sphere. So I want you to look for the object that is a sphere, just like that green sphere. Do you see something? I think it's that tomato, it's round. I bet it would roll really good. All right, number four, what's that shape? That's a sphere. So we're gonna look down the row and try to find all of the spheres. Is it this box? Looks like a square on all of its sides. Good job. All right, we did that page together. Now you're gonna do this page on your own. Number five, what is this red shape? That is a sphere. It's round. I want you to circle all the spheres in that row. You should find one more. 
Number six. This is a cube. I want you to see if you can find one more cube in that row. It, you should see a square on all of its sides. Number seven. What is this bluish purple shape? That is another sphere. See if you can find one more sphere in that row. Number eight. What is this yellow shape? That is a cube. Sort of looks like it's made out of cheese to me. Maybe I'm just hungry. Do you see any more cubes in this row? I see one more. Good job. All right, we're going to flip the page. This looks like we're in outer space, doesn't it? All right. We're going to draw a line This looks like we're in outer space. Do you see this planet? I wonder what planet that is. What do you think? Looks like it's got some storms on it. Do you remember which planet had storms? All right, we're going to find all the shapes that are like this planet. This planet is the shape so we're going to draw a line from this planet to all of the spheres. I see a green one. Ooh, and I see a purple one. You see any more? Any more spheres? Ooh, I see one up here. And one more way down here. All right, good job. Now, do you see in this rocket right here, there is a green shape. What is that green shape? That is a cube. We're gonna find all of the cubes and we're gonna draw a line from the green cube to all the cubes we see. We're gonna start at the green cube and draw a line. I think we're gonna find four. Can you find four cubes? Did you find them all? Good job. All right, we're gonna keep on rolling. We're gonna flip our page to this next page where it has a yummy ice cream cone. And today we're gonna be talking about this shape. When we look at the top, we see a circle and it can roll. Do you remember what this shape is called? This is a cylinder. This is a cylinder. Do you see any cylinders in your house? Sort of looks like a can. Do you have any Play-Doh that comes in a jar like this? I have a little salt and pepper shaker. This is the pepper and it's shaped like a cylinder. Let me show you the top. The top is a little mushroom. Looks like it's in Mario. But only the bottom is the cylinder. All right. And then on the bottom, we have a cone. You see a circle on this end and the other end goes to a point. This is a cone. And this to me looks just like an ice cream cone. Or if you turn it this way, it sort of looks like a party hat. I want you to look around and see if you see something in your house that is a cylinder and a cone. I'm gonna draw my pepper shaker. That's my cylinder. It had little holes on top for the pepper to come out. Gotta draw those. I hope you found something that's shaped like a cylinder. You might wanna look in your pantry. A lot of things in our pantry where we keep our food are shaped like cylinders. All right, and I want you to look for something that's shaped like our cone. I'm gonna make mine a party hat. See if you can find something that's shaped like a cone. And then draw it. All right. Are these shapes that we just drew, are they flat shapes? 
or are they solid three-dimensional shapes? They are solid three-dimensional shapes. They're not flat. All right, we're gonna flip our page. This is just like we did the other day when we're looking for the shapes that are the same as the first shape, all right? So this word says cylinder. So we're gonna circle all the cylinders that we see. We can circle that first one. And then, ooh, what's that? It's like a battery. Some batteries are cylinders. All right, this next shape, that is a cone. Remember a cone has one side that's a circle and the other side has a point. So we're gonna circle both of those cones. Good job. All right, looking at number three. What was this shape? That's a cylinder. Do you see any cylinders in that room? I see one. Remember, it has to have a circle on the top and on the bottom. Do you see a shape that's like that? This can right here. See that circle on top, circle on the bottom. All right, number four. What shape is this? That's a cone. Do you see any more cones in this row? I see one, it's the party hat. Has a circle on the bottom and a point on the top. All right, we did that page together. Now we're gonna do the next page on our own. Let's look at number five. What is this yellow shape? That is a cone. I want you to circle all of the cones in that row. You should find one more cone. Number six, this is a cylinder. I want you to find one more cylinder in that row. Number seven, this is a, has a circle on the bottom and a point on the other end. That is a cone. Can you find one more cone? And the last one on this page, number eight, this is a cylinder. I want you to look down this row and find one more cylinder. You should see a circle on each end. Good job. All right, you should see the crayons. And these crayons have all fallen out of the box. And you know that sometimes when we drop a crayon, what happens? It breaks. And these crayons, some of the ends of them broke off. What shape do those ends, the tips, look like to you? They look like a cone, don't they? They really do. But what shape do the crayons look like when the end is broken off? They look like a really, really tall cylinder. So what we're gonna do on this page is you're gonna color the crayons and the broken ends. We're gonna color the cones blue. So if you see a shape that is a cone, color it blue. And if you see a shape that is a cylinder, color it red. And I have my reddish purple, but we know that's okay. Pinkish, purplish, reddish. It's all good. So you're coloring the cylinders red and the cones blue. Good job. And remember, we have these extra pages. If you want to work on, you can. And then we're going to stop right there. Have a great day. Bye, guys.